and welcome back to our channel. So today I'm going to be changing all of the toddlers into green because today is World Cerebral Palsy Day, October 6th, and green is the ribbon color for cerebral palsy. So we're going to be getting all dolled up in green for their sister Bradley. So let's get started. Okay, so while picking outfits for today, I totally realized that my kids don't have a lot of green, so they won't be matching <laughs> except for the green aspect, but putting Adriel in his Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle pajamas because green. <laughs> so that's what he'll be wearing. Not matching any of his siblings, but it's still green. So while I change the babies, I'm going to talk about a couple facts about cerebral palsy just to educate you guys and, you know, talk about the disability a bit more and what it is. And I know I mentioned it in Bradley's um, All About Bradley, but that was more specific to her. This time we'll just talk about cerebral palsy in general. So cerebral palsy is a physical disability that affects people's movements and posture, and it's the most common physical disability among children. I, um, every 15 hours, one child is born with cerebral palsy in Australia. Not in the world, but in Australia. Um, every 15 hours. So that's pretty common. That's about two in a day, is it not? A little, a little bit over two, two in a day. No, sorry, a little bit under two in a day. <laughs> um, there are three types of cerebral palsy. There is quadriplegia, diplegia, and hemiplegia. So they all affect different parts of the body. Quadriplegia affects all four of your limbs, including like your back and your neck and things like that. Diplegia affects two limbs, so both your arms, both your legs. And then hemiplegia, I cannot speak, I don't even know if I'm saying that right, <laughs> um, affects one half of your body, so either the left side or the right side of your body. I'm actually going to leave that onesie on him. So Bradley has quadriplegia, so it affects all four of her limbs, including her neck and back, so that's why it's difficult for her to sit up. Um, let's see what else is there about cerebral palsy. 17 million people have cerebral palsy worldwide. That is quite a lot. <laughs> As like I said, it's the most common physical disability among children. So that's that. <laughs> let's see. Um, let's see. <laughs> I just said, let's see. Once again, I cannot talk in a video. Shocking? Not really. <laughs> okay, sit up. There we go. So one in three children with cerebral palsy are unable to walk. So that's due to the fact that the brain, like the, the oh my god, sorry, I cannot talk because their body is affected. So either most times legs are affected, so that makes it difficult for people to walk with cerebral palsy, but sometimes it's just your arms affected, so you can walk. And with walkers, kids can walk so that, you know, there's lots of ways and abilities that can walk with cerebral palsy, which I think is amazing. Bradley is, we're still working on the, getting her in a walker. Standing frame is different. She just kind of stands, she doesn't have to move, but one day we're hoping to get her in a walker. So I'm going to finish dressing Adrielle and then we'll grab Lucas and talk about a couple more facts about cerebral palsy. But yeah, did you guys wear green today? Probably. Not. I mean, I don't think everyone knows about this day, but if you did wear green, let me know in the comments down below. I am actually not wearing green right now. <laughs> I don't think I own very much green either, but my babies are wearing green for me. Okay, so Adriel's done. Let's go get Lucas. Okay, so here we have Lucas. He is going to be wearing his white Mama is my queen shirt with this plaid button up from Old Navy that's green and like a aqua blue. And then he has his jegging jeans. I don't know, they're just his jeggings, but he's going to be wearing that. So yeah. Shoes off. Actually, we're gonna unbutton the buttons first just so we don't have to do it later. So a couple more things about cerebral palsy is one in four people with cerebral palsy are unable to talk, which, and Bradley is one of those four. A lot of people with cerebral palsy use communication devices, whether it be an iPad or PECs, just to make 
it easier because imagine not being able to talk or say anything that you want having to be silent constantly and some kids aren't able to use pecs and it's must be frustrating I can't imagine what it's like not to be able to talk but Bradley we're working on using her tablet as we showed you in her facts about her video so that's something she works on at school is learning to identify words and pictures so then she can communicate effectively and tell me what she wants so then you know it's less frustrating on both of us so I can understand her and she can tell me her needs which in the long run makes everybody happy <laughs> One in four have epilepsy. Bradley is very lucky she does not have epilepsy, but one in four have epilepsy, which is seizures, in case you didn't know. What else do we have? Um, one in four have a behavioral disorder, so acting out, um, anger issues, things like that, which is understandable because three in four people with cerebral palsy experience pain, so if you're constantly in pain, I don't think you're going to be a very happy camper most of the time um and again with the frustration of not being able to communicate and everything like that it cannot be easy having cerebral palsy okay so we're gonna get lucas's shirt on here oh and his shirt's from children's place his pants are from children's place and his like button button down is from old navy so yep and in, there we go. Perfect, so he's got his bottom shirt on, just because I like to put shirts on underneath button down shirts. So you've got this one on, and we can go ahead and put this one on. And then we'll finish up with the star of the show today, Bradley. Do you want the sleeves down, Lucas, or do you want them rolled up? Uh, can I wear them down? I'm done, yeah, we'll just gotta button up at the wrist then, instead of folding them. Okay. Here we go! Okay. Let's fix you up, you're all twisted. Yeah. Charlie horse is in my leg, okay. There we go. That's better. Be back a bit so they can see you. And you want them buttoned up, so we're gonna do them at the wrist. Okay. One. You want the shirt opened, or do you want it closed? Closed. You want it closed? Yeah, so then there's more green and less white. Okay. Okay, lie down. If you're gonna play games like that, lie down. And you're messing up the blanket. No, I'm not! Okay. Okay, button, button, button. Let's see if I can button it properly and not skip one. Ah, there we go. There we go. And the top one. Perfect. Let's pull your hair out because your hair is like all caught in your collar. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Now Lucas is all dressed up, so let's get Bradley. And here's our star of today, Miss Bradley. So she doesn't actually have green, but she has like a mint green, I guess. And it says, this girl can, which I feel like is very appropriate for World Cerebral Palsy Day. And then she'll be wearing her tutu with it, her gray tutu with gold flecks in it. I don't think she has tights on, but I think she'll be fine. No, she's not wearing tights, so. But she'll be fine. And just her legs, because it is warm in here because of the heat. Yeah. Take off your boots. So Miss Bradley here is our star with cerebral palsy. She has quadriplegia spastic cerebral palsy, which means it affects all four of her limbs and it makes her limbs tight so it's harder for her to move. It takes her three times the amount of energy to move as it does you or I, so if Bradley were to brush her teeth, it would take her three times the amount of energy to do that. So it would basically make her exhausted just to do something simple that you and I can do in 30 seconds. It would take Bradley a lot longer to be able to do it because of the energy required. I'm gonna take these off because they do not match. <laughs> there we go. Now you're gonna bit better. So, yeah. Let's 
amazing. Let's, what are some other facts we can tell you guys about cerebral palsy? I like this shirt because it buttons all down the back. You guys can see that, so we don't have to put it over our head. We just unsnap the buttons, and it's all done. So, 1 in 10 have severe vision impairment, which is Bradley, obviously she wears glasses. Um, her vision is, is it 2200 or 200? 20. It's one of those two. So her vision is very poor, <laughs> but glasses help with that. So she can see just like everybody else in the world. Well, not everybody else. I'm so sorry. Nope. Okay. Just like <laughs> her brother can or I can. Helps her see. I thought that was not okay to say. I am sorry, world. Okay, let's see. Yeah, Bradley is our special little girl. Right? You're our special girl, Bradley. This girl can. This girl sure can. I love shirts like this. Children's Place and Old Navy, they often have cool shirts that are like empowering for girls and it's just... I love seeing them. I think I'm gonna tuck... No, I'm not. I'm gonna try to tuck her shirt in. But... Yep. This girl can. Can't you? I keep the tags on clothes. Don't ask. <laughs> Put your glasses back on? Okay. The strap didn't even want to stay on. Okay, so let's put her glasses back on and we're going to do a group shot. So here's everybody in their green for World Cerebral Palsy Day. They all look so cute supporting their sister. We hope you guys enjoyed the video and we hope you guys learned something about cerebral palsy. And we will see you guys in our next video. Bye guys! Bye.